game they have to get? Uh, no, nah, I feel like this is the game we got to get. Shit, or it's over with. <laughs> I think everybody's feeling that way. Bill over here. LeBron, um, did you guys feel like, two questions, did you guys feel like JR had to shoot more, you have to score more points to beat this team? And, and have you passed the ball off the backboard to yourself before? Um, well, I mean, JR is a big piece of our offensive package and our defensive package. And, uh, you know, we just felt like when he gets looks, he needs to take them. You know, um, and he's done that the last few games. He's come up big for us offensively. And uh, we've needed we've needed everything from him. Um, I have. I've passed the ball off the backboard to myself before. And, um, yeah, I've done it before. I don't have anything else to say about that. Back in the day, people were shocked. I think Heinsohn was maybe the first one to do it. Who? Tommy Heinsohn. Oh, that's, that's a while ago. Yeah, but nobody had seen it before. They were laughing about it. <laughs> it's good. Last two, David back left and then Janie up front. LeBron, you said uh, last week you thought the Warriors team coming together was good for basketball, the way that they've put their team together. Do you have any sense, knowing the history of the game, that people are perceiving this differently for some reason because there's always been great teams put together in NBA history? Um, well, I can see it from both sides. I'm not going to exactly give you my opinion on how I can see it from both sides. I will at some point in my career. I'm not at that point right now because I know what I say kind of gets people take it the wrong way. So I have my opinion on how people see it from both sides, and I have pretty good knowledge about it. So a few years from now, David, I'll tell you how I really feel about the whole situation. But uh, they're a great team. They're assembled. Um, as good as you can be um, as a professional team and uh, they're on a quest to win a championship and I mean you can respect that. Last one, Janie up front. Hi LeBron, Janie McCauley from AP. Um, they're adding three on three to the Olympics and I just was hoping to get your quick thoughts on that and whether you would ever consider playing that and any <laughs> other any other thoughts. Um, first of all I think it's great for basketball you know to, for us to be able to add another category to the Olympics another basketball category um, you know, I think it's pretty great. Um, I haven't seen the full layout of how they plan on executing it. And um, are they going to use NBA guys? Or are they going to use college guys? I'm not quite sure. Um, I'm not very good in a three-on-three thing. I'm more of a five-on-five -five guy. Um, I stay out of the one-on-one -on -one matchups during our practices, the two-on-twos and the three-on-threes. Uh, so probably not. I, I probably won't be a part of the three-on-three -three matchup uh, that, that it has to offer. Thank you. Thank you, LeBron.